Okay, we are live. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Happy low carb day in the term boot camp world. I'm Kate Horning. For those of you guys who don't know me, I am a chef and nutritionist, and I am the co creator of Trim Boot Camp, which is our eight week nutrition, fitness, carb cycling boot camp. So if you guys are new here and are really wanting more structure, more guidance, more um, accountability, more step by step, um, definitely think about joining us for trim. So this group is designed to give you um, content on how to carb cycle, get you started, um, give you recipes, give you workouts, give you everything that you need to start carb cycling. But if you're ready to take it to that next level or you're having trouble sort of getting going on your own, um, that is what trim is for. We created it as a container, a group program. Um, it's inside of an app and it's literally going to give you exactly what to do. Um, nutrition, the workouts, all the things, the mindset, and then give you the accountability to actually implement it into your life and make it happen. So our next group program kicks off on Monday, August 15th. So this coming Monday. So you guys want to join, there's uh, information in the banner at the top of the page and uh, you can get all the details on what you get when you join trim, what you'll experience when you join trim. But I can tell you guys that it is a game changer for so many women. We've had thousands of women go through the program and it is changed their life. So um, today we're going to be making a recipe that you get access to inside of Trim. So it's from my meal planning software, A Healthy Passion, which um, has over a thousand recipes. And when you join Trim, you get access to it as well. And this is a great, fun, kind of creative twist on a tuna melt. We actually have a tuna melt recipe in a healthy fashion, but if you want a low carb version, um, that's what I'm going to be making tonight. So this is awesome for prep ahead. So if you're that person who wants to prep some things for the week, this would be great for that. If you like leftovers for lunch like I do, make extra, double this recipe. It's so easy to make a little bit extra and have lunch the next day. And I'm going to run through what y'all need to cook this with me. So first things first, you need tuna. So I'm actually using um, some skipjack tuna. Um, I like the stuff in water for this recipe just because I feel like the oil can make it too rich. There's some dishes that I feel like oil packed tuna is great, some water. So I've got two cans of tuna here and these are five ounce cans. So this makes two portions. Um, truthfully, this makes pretty large portions. A lot of healthy passion recipes, if you're used to dieting um, and doing a lot of like low calorie diets, some of the recipes make pretty big portions. So feel free to divide it in half or divide it into even a third. Um, you know, what we create here is a guideline, but um, you know, you don't have to eat two huge burgers if you feel like it's too much. So this would be a great one even if you eat half of it over a big salad or with some veggies on the side and then um, save the leftovers for lunch. Sorry, I'm watching my puppy. She looks like she's getting into something over there. Um, okay, so tuna is the first ingredient. The next ingredient is a tomato. So tuna melt style, um, we're gonna put a tomato on top before we bake it. Some celery, some shallot, an egg, and then some cheese. So we're gonna top it off with cheese um, and some fresh parsley. I'm using American cheese here. Cheddar cheese would also work. Provolone cheese, Swiss cheese, any cheese you like. This is just what I have a lot of, so that's what we're going with. Um, and then mayonnaise. And then we also need some almond milk, or almond milk, almond meal, um, or you could use breadcrumbs if you're not trying to do low carb or if you're not gluten free. So those are sort of the baseline ingredients. And then the pantry items, we've got Dijon mustard. I'm using a stone ground here. Um, salt, pepper, and olive oil. So first things first, I've got my oven preheating and I'm just gonna do it at 450. Um, this is just gonna be for melting the cheese. So we're gonna cook them on the stove top and then we're gonna pop them into the oven to sort of finish them off and get that cheese all melty like a traditional tuna melt would be. Um, so basically these are gonna be a tuna burger with a melt on top essentially. So uh, if you guys are transitioning from low carb to regular macro and you want to take this, you know, to tomorrow as well, you could toss it on like a high quality bun like Dave's Killer Bread um, or you could serve it with some sort of like sweet potato fries. That would be a really good way to kind of take it from low carb to um, regular macro. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself a glass of wine and we're going to get started. So I'm drinking tonight my favorite low sugar wine. I'll link the information on this wine below, but if you guys love wine, and you still want to stay on track with your healthy lifestyle, this is the best wine I've ever had. It's from Scout & Cellar. Um, I partnered with them about th three years ago because I was just so obsessed with their wines. And this one in particular is a, a Chardonnay Sauvignon Blanc blend, so it's going to be really good with the tuna. And it has 100 calories per five ounce glass, which is about that much. And point, I wrote it down, 0 .007 grams of carbs. So if you look at a lot of mass produced wines, you have to be careful because a lot of them have more carbs than you realize. So if you are trying to be a low carb, 
um, or just trying to watch your carbs in general, especially because carbs should come from high quality foods like berries and like sweet potatoes and rice and grains and that kind of stuff, not from sugar. Um, this is the best one. So um, I'm going to give it a taste and then we'll get making our burger. So first things first, I've got my tuna and I have just taken the cans and opened them up and drained off the water. So pretty easy. And then I'm just gonna add it into my bowl here. All my tiny spatulas are dirty. Instead. So those are gonna go in and these are great because it's literally just sort of throw everything in a bowl, make patties, cook them off, boom. So it's really, really easy. Um, if you do like to meal prep, oh my dog's barking over there. Come on, prep you can actually make these ahead of time um, and cook them off right before serving too so that's another option or you can make the patties and cook them off on the skillet and then reheat them by tossing them in the oven topping them with the tomato and cheese so a couple of options there again um, I'm the type that I like to just cook um, you know dinner each night and then make extras for lunch I'm not a huge like prep my week in advance but I do tend to sometimes prep one or two things here and there so this would be a good option for that so tuna is in the bowl to that we're going to add a shallot um, you could also use a regular onion i just tend to use shallots a lot in my recipes because i'm not a big fan of waste and i find that so often if you buy a big old onion and you just need you know a couple tablespoons it's really easy to toss it in the fridge and forget about it and then you end up wasting it so i'd rather spend a little bit more money um, knowing that i'm not going to have any food waste also shallots are a little more mild and a little more sweet than a traditional onion so they're really delicious but you could also use red onion uh, or white onion would work. So, or green onion. I mean, there's really, can't go wrong. Um, if you guys are members of a Healthy Passion My Meal Planner, we do have a Cajun tuna cake recipe in there that's really good in the low carb um, tuna cake. So if you guys like these, uh, a lot of the Healthy Passion recipes you'll notice, like you learn the technique and then you'll see, oh, here's a different variation of the similar recipe. So it gives you uh, a lot of ideas and I do that intentionally to help kind of teach you how to cook so that way you're not like referencing the recipe every five seconds you're like okay well I've made the Cajun tuna cake I can easily make these tuna melts without having to really get stressed out about it if you're you know not big into cooking or have to think about it okay so next ingredient is some celery we're gonna dice it up here just kind of small bite-sized pieces um, because we are forming these into little patties and we don't want huge chunks of anything in there so one celery stalk that's gonna give it a nice crunch nice flavor and I don't know, there's just something about celery that I just, I love on low carb days. I tend to find that I crave crunch and this gives you that. So that goes in and then, the little ones are fighting. Um, then we're gonna add our almond flour and I keep this in the freezer. Um, almonds are high in fat and fat tends to go rancid when it's exposed to heat. And I don't use this all that often. So this tends to last a lot longer um, in the freezer. I'm gonna add that and you can use like I said breadcrumbs would also work in here um, but breadcrumbs are gonna be a little higher in carbs so again if you're wanting to double this recipe and make some for high carb days you can have all the flour half breadcrumbs so that is gonna go in and then we've got one egg that is gonna bind everything together no Nala um, one tablespoon of mayonnaise so that's gonna add some nice moisture I tend to kind of go back and forth between avocado, oil mayonnaise, and this delicious Dukes. Um, use whatever mayonnaise you like. I'm using Dukes today. So that goes in. And then um, a tablespoon of mustard as well. Like I said, whole grain mustard is my favorite, but any Dijon mustard will do. I would probably stay away from yellow mustard. I think it'd just be too strong of a flavor. But that's going to add nice little pops of texture. And again, that mustard flavor is just so... So delicious. So while I mix all this together, I'm gonna go ahead and get a flame on my um, stove here and get some olive oil heating. It's frightening that I turn on the stove and my puppy comes running. Oh, Gracie. Um, I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the bottom. So we wanna get nice brown color on there and the oil will really help with that. Season it up with Celtic salt, a nice pinch of red pepper flakes for heat. Um, the amount that you use here is completely optional. So I like heat, so I'm gonna go with a good, good generous pinch. 
And then from there, we just mix everything together and our goal here is to sort of coat the tuna with all of that mayonnaise, mustard, egg, and really help everything kind of bind together. Now these are gonna be a looser um, cake, so I find that if you um, do wanna put these in the fridge for about half an hour before you cook them, um, it'll help them sort of hold together, but I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna make sure they're good and mixed up, and then I'm just going to be really gentle when I cook them. All right, so you can kind of see how it's starting to look like tuna salad, really. And that's the look we want. We want it to look nice and smooth and have good moisture. Okay, so that looks good. Me, my puppy's just jumping vertical in the air. And then the parsley is actually gonna go on top, so you could add some in if you want, um, or chives would also work, but I'm gonna save it and put it right on top. Okay, so now we're gonna form this into patties. So I'm gonna make four um, burgers here. So I'm essentially just gonna kind of go and sort of, I do just wanna make meatballs too, just kind of divide it into quarters so I can make them pretty even. Again, with these recipes, um, I really try to make them about as foolproof as possible. So, um, you know, we're not trying to be perfect here. The goal for, for me is making simple recipes that inspire you guys to get in the kitchen and just cook and show you guys how simple healthy cooking can be. You know, I really feel that over the years, um, you know, even when I was starting on my healthy living journey, there were so many recipes out there that were a lot of ingredients that were super complicated, super time consuming, expensive, um, and when I created Healthy Passion, I sort of wanted to kind of go against that and really try to show you guys, like, you can buy tuna anywhere, you can buy an egg anywhere, you can find mayonnaise anywhere, you can find celery, um, you know, Dijon mustard might be the hardest ingredient, or the almond flour. Um, but everything is just simple ingredients you can get anywhere, these are affordable. Um, if you're feeding a family, like I said, toss it on some bread. Um, put, you know, extra cheese on for your husband and kids, and y'all can eat the same thing. I don't expect... Um, for you to stick to a plan long term if it's not foods your whole family can enjoy as well. So that's our goal with a healthy passion recipes and with trim recipes, with including a healthy passion and trim to help make it simple because, you know, with trim, if you're going to do this lifestyle long term, it's got to be doable. Um, you got to be able to feed your family. You can't be cooking two separate meals forever. So I have formed my little patties here. And my oil is starting to shimmer. That's how you know it's hot enough. Um, and then what we're gonna do is just basically cook these babies in the pan. And they're gonna cook for about four to five minutes per side. Um, the goal here is to get them golden brown. So they have a nice like crisp crust on the outside and then they're nice and moist. I hate that word, but I keep saying it. Moist on the inside. Um, and while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cheese out. And like I said, I'm just using American cheese here. Um, I, if I had planned this better, um, I would have probably picked provolone. That's just my favorite on this kind of thing, but um, American cheese will also work. And again, I apologize. Every time she gets quiet, I kind of have to throw it on there. Um, okay, so slicing the tomato up. So we want four slices of tomato. Uh, basically, you just want a nice ripe tomato about quarter inch slices, I don't know. I'm bad at eyeballing my sizes, but basically you wanna take a, a medium sized tomato, cut it into quarters, you guys see that? That's about as thick as you want them. And those are just gonna go right on top of the um, burgers. Now, I'm actually gonna bake these off in my small oven, which the skillet doesn't fit in it, uh, but the recipe will call to basically just put everything on the skillet and then put the skillet into the oven, but I'm gonna transfer it to a baking sheet. Um, I don't know why, every time I do these, I always want to do it in the little oven because it's right next to me and I always forget that the pan doesn't fit. Um, so that would basically save you on dishes. So essentially if you make this recipe, uh, if you make this recipe, you're literally gonna have one pan to clean and one bowl to clean. Now let's talk about what to serve these with. So I would probably just serve this in a lettuce wrap. I think that would be really delicious, like nice good butter lettuce. Um, romaine lettuce would be delicious as well for a nice crunch. Um, if you want to serve a vegetable on the side, you could do some um, wilted spinach or some sauteed kale. That would be a really great low-carb veggie. Um, roasted broccoli or boiled green beans would also be delicious. So lots of little ideas there for um, 
how to serve it again if you're transitioning to regular macaroni. I throw some sweet potato fries on the side or toss it on a bun. Um, and, you know, again, dinner can be very, very simple. Um, this wine is so good. I feel like my puppy's gonna pee. She keeps looking at the front door. Not good. She's peeing right now. Awesome. <laughs> Anyone else have this sort of chaos? Like, right when you wanna do something for yourself and focus um, on, you know, not on them, like they go crazy. Like, they've been so good all day and now. I've literally taken her out 25 times. Now I'm distracted for 15 minutes and she has to pee on the rug. But such is life. Okay, so these are looking good. <laughs> like I mentioned, you want to make sure you uh, are careful with them because they aren't like. So you want to kind of be gentle with them and flip them, but you can see how they're starting to get good and golden brown. And as I mentioned, you know, I am using about a tablespoon of oil on these just to give them that good, delicious golden brown um, exterior. So we're just going to cook them. Same on the other side. About four or five minutes again. Um, I really just cook, the tuna's already cooked, so I really just cook them just to get that nice brown color on them. So um, you don't have to go quite as long probably on the second side because the pan's nice and hot and they're going to go into the oven. So what questions do you guys have on trim? Hey mom, how are you? Um, if you guys have questions on trim, just post them below. Um, even if you watch this on the replay, which I know most of you guys do, um, let me know. But uh, I will kind of run through while these are cooking how trim works. So week one is called onboarding week. And in onboarding week, we really just teach you how to live the trim lifestyle. So most programs out there and every detail of trim we've created um, because we have done other programs. We've had a lot of clients who've done other programs. We've really tried to curate the program that um, will really not only give you results, but give you results that stick long term. So with Trim, we have been super intentional about like every detail has a reason. So week one is onboarding week, and onboarding week is designed as that week for you guys to sort of learn the program. So most programs out there, week one, you like hit the ground running, and there's all this stress and all this pressure and all this like feeling of having to do it perfect because you only have X amount of weeks. With Trim, we're super focused on the long term. We want this to be a long term lifestyle for you guys. So we don't want you to run into the, you know week one like, oh my gosh, I gotta do it all perfect. We want you to really take the time to learn because we want Trim to be the last program you ever do. We want it to be your new lifestyle, the new version of you. We don't want you to, to do eight weeks and then you're back to your old habits. So week one is about learning, or onboarding week is about learning. And then official week one, we start with kind of really encourage you guys to take what you've learned and take what you've practiced and ask us questions and say, you know, well, I did really well with this, but I need help with this. And week one, we actually have a couple of live calls as well with our trainer, Amy, um, to help you guys with where you're struggling. So if you find, okay, after I've practiced, after I've learned, I still need some guidance here, then we teach you that. And then from week one through week seven, um, we really just encourage you guys to go do the best you can show up every day, even if it's not perfect. You know, we have ladies who are like, I can't believe I'm posting this, but I'm sharing this anyways. That's what we want. We want you to go through the good, the bad, all the things and share that with us. So again, you can learn how to make trip work if you are on vacation or um, no matter what you have going on in your life. So if you're hesitant to start because you're like, well, I have a trip or it's my kids back to school. Don't be, we want you guys to go through all the things with us because then we can help you and teach you how to really make it stick um, for the long term. Okay, so tuna burgers are coming out of the pan. As you can see, they're good and golden on each side. So now we are going to do the fun part. We're going to top them with the tomato. So we got just one little tomato slice on each. And then we're going to season up the tomatoes. So one thing I teach a lot in a healthy passion and cooking is to season every layer of your dish. So tomatoes are delicious, but they're even more delicious with a little salt. So we're gonna just lightly season up each tomato slice here with some salt. And then we're gonna take our cheese. And honestly, I'm gonna kind of like, see how do I wanna put this on there? I think that looks good to me. Um, I'm just gonna kind of cover each burger with the cheese. And then I've got my oven, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you guys are just hopping on here, 450. Yeah, I think I like the slices of cheese to be 
want to make it pretty, so I'm going to do this. Because I want it to kind of crisp around the edges. I love that. Whenever cheese melts and it gets kind of crispy around the edges, it's my favorite thing. We're going to take one more slice. We're going to try this again. And as I mentioned before, a lot of healthy fashion recipes I sort of come up with, and then I test them out on here, and then I rework them, and then I put them into the software. Okay, so now these are going to go into the oven for, I don't know, maybe five minutes um, at the most. Really, we're just going to keep an eye on the cheese until it gets all melty and ooey gooey and delicious, um, maybe a little brown. You can even broil it if you're in a hurry. Um, while that is happening, I'm going to chop up the parsley for garnish. So again, you can use chives, you can use basil. I have parsley in my garden, so I'm using that. And I feel like this wine is going to go so good with these. And that is one of the things I love about, um, number one, healthy passion recipes. Number two, the low sugar wine is that you can still be healthy, lose weight, see results, do trim, and you don't have to give up delicious food or wine. So um, really, if you're going to stick to any lifestyle long term, you got to enjoy the process. And that's what we really want to teach you in trim as well is, you know, you shouldn't be eating chicken and broccoli, maybe rice on a regular macro day. Um, for eight weeks because as soon as trim's over, you're going to go right back to that what you were eating before and you're going to then, you know, see the results that you worked so hard for go away. So with trim, we want to teach you how to incorporate the things that you love so that way you can truly stick with it long term. And so we don't want you to give up that wine. We don't want you to give up that delicious um, whatever it is that you love, dark chocolate, tuna melts, um, bread, cheese, all the things. Uh, we teach you just how to do it in a healthier way. And really focusing on unprocessed foods, on real food nutrition, on protein, on water, on sleep, on stress management, on effective workouts, all the things. So um, again, our next round starts on Monday. So if you guys want information on it, I've put the link in our banner. I will also link it in this video when I wrap this up. Um, and this recipe should be um, in HP probably next week. Um, I still haven't got the new ones in the software yet for this week, so if you are a subscriber for Healthy Passion, keep an eye out. I'll send that email out probably tonight or first thing tomorrow um, as soon as I get those in. She's looking like she's up to no good again. <laughs> I can't believe she peed on my rug. Um, little brat. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have questions, again, you know, post them in the group, just drop them below. Uh, if you guys are currently in trim or you've done trim before and you want to share your experience, we would love to hear it. Um, we get so many great testimonials, but it's always fun when someone shares it like in the group um, so that way you guys can see uh, from real women who are just like you guys that have you know, taken the, the plunge and really um, committed to changing their life and their health and their family's health and everything. So these are looking good. I'm going to show you guys um, kind of what they look like finished product, um, but I actually want to give them a taste, but it's probably going to be pretty hot, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but essentially when they come out, I'm going to sprinkle them with parsley, and I'm going to serve them. So I will post a picture um, when they're finished for you guys, because my animals are just starting to get crazy. My cat's trying to open the basement door. Um, Gracie is jumping on the front door. Uh, but I'll post a picture for you guys of the finished product. Again, the recipe will be in a healthy passion next week. If you guys are joining Trim, you'll get access to a healthy passion, so you'll get the recipe. If you guys are not joining Trim, or you've done Trim before, and you want access to a healthy passion, um, you can go to ahealthypassion.com. It is a meal planning software. It is a membership site that teaches you all about meal planning, so there's so much goodness in that as well. And um, I will see you all tomorrow. I'm going to be cooking. What am I cooking tomorrow? Um, oh, chicken parm. So actually, I made this recipe um, a couple of weeks ago for a dinner party and Mike, my husband, had the leftovers the next day and he was like, this is the best thing I've ever had. So uh, he wanted me to do this recipe for you all because it's so simple. Um, we just really marinate the chicken um, to give it that really delicious like flavor and then we rub it with um, a, a breadcrumb and Parmesan mixture and then we pan sear it and then we bake it and we top it with cheese and sauce and it is so good. So if you guys are free tomorrow night at 5.30, I will be um, cooking up that. And again, that will be in HP also. And I will show you all what these look like. So I would say two more minutes when that cheese starts to brown, they'll be ready to go. But how fun are those? And who wouldn't enjoy like childhood memories, tuna melts, um, but in a low carb kind of well up version. So hope you guys have a great night. Um, I'm going to finish these off and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.
Guilty, guilty, guilty. <laughs> All right, bye.